Emmanuel Polis worked for Clockwork Pharmacy in Islington for many, many years. In those years, he built up a very strong relationship within the community. So many people are still finding it hard to come to terms with losing such an icon. Not only did Emmanuel have a love for football and supported Arsenal football team, he was also related to no other than England international footballer Jermaine Defoe. So many are overcome with grief and were unable to speak on camera. It's a sad day for his family and for the community who adopted Emmanuel as their own. Sick of this basic business Don't think you like stand up in the pits I'm done with the boring news, watch this He's such a loving person Anybody that met him, they always remember him He's kind, happy-go-lucky Yes, and so um, you know, the sudden death yeah. We're just in public shop How I knew Emmanuel, my mum moved here 81 and we had to get our medicines, didn't we? First time I saw him, I walked in, he had his bling on, his gold tooth, and his smile. He had a very infect infectious smile, he greeted you. So I've known him for 17 years of my life, um, he's very close to the family, um, and he's just an amazing person, like he, every single person he met, he just reached out to, um, loved to hug and give everyone a kiss and everything else, he was just amazing and that's why there are so many people out here today, there will be even more, even a bigger turnout for his funeral, so yeah, he's, just, he's just a lovely person and we're just so, so, so shocked um, about the yeah. Away. I've known him for a very long time, he's a very friendly man, he's over anybody, I always speak to him. You couldn't get a better man than that, you know, he's a very generous man, he helped people to go around and you know, give advice and everything like that. But it's a great loss for us. Yes, yeah. Well, he loved the people, you know, he's a part of the community. He said hello to everyone, you know, he's a really Nice man. He was a character of the Almost every stop, yeah. people would get on, they'd know him, people yeah. would get off, know him. Everybody knew him. Yeah. Absolutely everybody. And they'd all make a point of coming up to speak to yeah. him, saying hello and everything. So, yeah, next time we're going to the chemist, <laughs> there's going to be an empty space and they miss him so much. We're going to miss Emmanuel, yeah. has been the bottom, has been the backbone of, of, of Kari. As you can see, a lot of people. Yeah. He was a wonderful, yeah, yeah, wonderful yeah. man. And also, what I remember about him in his later years was over at the cafe, Kiji having his lunch. He'd greet you as me or my mum would go in and come out and he'd always wave and say hello. That's the thing about Emmanuel. He was kind, caring. And he used to give mum on the sly what mad was, you know, you know. Well, he's very good to everyone, yeah. you know, he's a part of the community. He's, uh, everybody loves he, he loves everybody, you know. I reach out to family and friends, and that's what Emmanuel was very much all about. We, as youngsters, we don't really do that as much. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Emmanuel would love if everyone reached out as much as he did to right. everyone else in the community. Well, um, I have very fond memories of my brother. Yeah, that we used to go out. He loved dancing, didn't he? Yeah. You know, we used to copy his little moves when he was dancing. Yeah. He, he loved dancing, so he, you know, everybody enjoyed inviting him to a party. Yeah. And, his you know, music. and his music. He loved his music. Yeah, yeah he liked his very good music. music. Yeah. And he, he just liked being around people. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and people just gravitate towards him. Yeah. He's like his yeah. dad, like, like, like our father. Yeah. 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 Um, they, they gravitated towards him and he had time for, he had time for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. The moment I get into the chemist, oh, he said, oh, hello, trouble. Mm -hmm. I said, Manuel, just leave me alone. Just take. I said, oh, I want small Billy. Where is Big Billy? Because you know Billy, they are true. So I said, where is small Billy? Yeah. And I said, oh, yeah. Manuel, come, come, run out of paracetamol. Can you give me paracetamol? Yeah. He said, okay. I said, no, 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 I don't want this. Emmanuel, I mean, my children's 21 birthday. Any, I mean, part of whatever I do, yeah. Emmanuel is there. Yeah. In fact, yesterday I was really crying that Billy have to ask me. I was really tears. I really miss it. This is a testament to how he has his life. Yeah. Well, you can see everybody just gravitated towards him and you know they liked him for his warmth, for the way that he he dealt with people, he yeah. genuinely cared, genuinely about, cared about other people. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he put you know put, put their interests first really. Yeah. So that is why they gravitated towards him. Um, I mean 
the fact that he worked here for so many years, yeah. I think he brought a lot of business to this yeah. shop because yeah, yeah. people just liked the way that he treated them and made them feel yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. special. Emmanuel gave so much to so many that it would take more than a lifetime to repay him for the contributions he had made to enrich the lives of others. Urban News London would like to thank Islington community and the police family for allowing us to pay homage to such an amazing and unique person. If you have a problem in your community and you'd like to talk about it to Urban News London, then contact us on urbannewslondon at gmail.com.